We're back in it. Welcome to back to more Mishuka Tensei. Rudy is discovering a thrilling new side of himself, mainly because of a uh, particular student and friend amongst the school. But sure, maybe he felt a little better after realising that uh, Fitz was actually a woman all along. No more potentially confusing thoughts on his end. Although... It might be uh, beneficial for all parties involved if Fitz's identity does actually come to light as who she actually is. Although I really don't hold up much hope for that. Not unless everyone else gets involved and makes it happen. So if you're excited to see these tales of a struggling and shy elf and a temporarily cured mm, issue for Rudy, well, get a drink. And let's enjoy some more Mashoku Tensei. What is this in music to, for the backing track? He was up all night uh, fiddling with it to see if any, any further stirs happened. Well, it's uh, quite simple. Just go and get fits to... Uh, to hug him again? Why exactly is he... up and about? <laughs> Just... keep quiet. He's not here for a fight or anything, not trying to be... Argumentative or anything, but well, because that's what Fitz wanted. <laughs> it's keep it as uh, simple as he just doesn't have the energy in him right now to have that confrontation. But there's a... Despite how he's trying to do right by her and not interfere or make a big deal about certain factors of her identity, he doesn't know that it's actually becoming more difficult because of how he's doing so. Since it has been getting such a spotlight in these episodes, especially recently, I'm kind of hoping that it is actually pushed along a little. I mean, come on now, how long has it been since uh, Sophie's been out there struggling and not only in not being able to tell him things, but not being able to be herself. And also, what kind of... What kind of, uh... The stories are going to come out now with the... Research into the removing of curses. Remember, Cliff was still trying to get all that done. Little fidgety today. Why were why was she summoned here? And the fact that now they've been There's some some tales being told out in the schoolyard. Why exactly would Fitz need to be shouting that they're a man? <laughs> it doesn't want to cause trouble for one that he holds uh, so dear. 
But what is she going to do? However, this seems like a good opportunity to really just go all in, really explain everything. If you don't do something, we'll do it for you. <laughs> Hopefully, kind of thing. It's easier said than done to just muster up the courage, even if she does know to herself that it's the right thing to, for her to do. Sometimes you have to throw caution to the wind, reach outward to what you actually want. Going on there, the subtitles. Torn between her duty here to, to protect her friend and whatnot. Is it actually time for, for them to part ways? What is it that you actually want? Search her heart and uh, I'm sure we'll get the true answer. I thought it was going to cut away and we don't actually hear the answer. Well, there you go. Saying it out loud is the first step. The next is just expanding that to, to include him to hear that. It might be a little bit of a shock if he just, oh, by the way, I'm still yet, but uh, you're not helping. So what, we just need to do that again, find some bullies and have have them pick on fits and have really step in again. That's the strongest memory? Good, because there's another one I can think of that actually she might have repressed. Please don't be the one I think it is. How is this story going to go down? Is this something you want to be telling them? <laughs> Some things are best kept quiet. Now they're going to see Rudy in a, another light. So is it really best if you do go see him? Really skirting the definition of lovely there. So there's two plans. Get bullied. Or get him to undress her again. The other days, this isn't the same one. The same kind of... Oh, there's a bit of a blush there, but the same kind of carefree one that they had back in the village, or something a little more deep. Oh, Jesus. She's, Jesus Christ, Sylphiot. She's thought about this a lot, eh? <laughs> so the dependable uh, visage that we had of Fitz has melted away horribly. How is he keeping a straight face at this? <laughs> she may need to climb down from that... Uh, dream of hers. Will there be an ultimatum here? She going to... Oh. I was going to think exile her from her care, so then 
she's off on her own to try and sort this out. No, she is forbidden to see him. So now it is a do or die, now or never. Plan? She was just hugging that statue globe... Whatever it was a second ago, you think she has a plan? Although, if all goes according to her, her mind, maybe Rudy needs to take a few lessons from Cliff. Do you mind talking, yeah, just the two of us? Now, just leaving Buddy Guddy and One Eye alone for lunch? Does he need a chaperone? I mean, ask him for help and he'll go behind it full, full force. That's so, uh, that's an understatement. Frustrated. Uh, What is this little plan? Oh, so now he just needs to go and fetch the flower first as a... as a sign. But also, yeah, if it was Fitz, of course he would do anything for her and jump at the, what any task she has for him. Even more so if uh, he actually knew who she was. So... A group of two, right? I mean, leave it up to adventurers. It's probably, you know, they're in that line of work for a reason. Completely sidestepping the plan that they were trying to get, get in motion here. Can't they just... Oh, what a chance encounter. Maybe, with that statement, he can understand what was being, uh, being asked of him there. Fitz, nervous in the forest alone? Why would that be? I mean, having him back in his old kind of adver adventurer garb... I uh, hope we won't bring back any tough memories for him. All those weird trees don't aren't about as well. Or the bears. I'm not sure what kind of payment this would actually be. I mean... Depending on the outcome of this, of this little adv Jesus, where is your mind going? He's not into that sort of work. Well, <laughs> he's currently not into that sort of work. I mean. As a way through snow, a use of magic, I like that. Just, that is a big snow drift. What does it end just there? But, you know, I... The idea that Fitz keeps, or Sylphie keeps getting caught in her own little... Caught in her own little world... Let's see if it all plans out for her. Or in her own little daydream gets caught off guard and they're wandering into some issue.
Just talking about the staff, right? I mean, they're having a fairly natural conversation so far. How's he going to feel if uh, he figures out all of this, just getting, to, getting him out here was one big ploy? Also, is he just going to take back the staff and change the weather? <laughs> just completely undermine it. There we go. Quick, jab him with this. Ah, no, she's going to cast magic, what, at him? Or force it to rain? He's being... Undermined. He's being... <laughs> He's being blocked from uh, clearing the skies up. I mean, it was a fairly good way. It can't... Focuses uh, energy and magic there to fix the rain. Especially when it's cold and snowing like this, you do not want to be soaked. Please don't say that's why she's wearing the big fur coat. I thought she was frozen for a second. <laughs> uh, already got to her. That was an abrupt cut. I just little details like him closing the entrance of the cave with his earth magic. Completely unneeded, but just goes to show a little bit of uh, care that they would take. Definitely stops the wind as well. Or maybe this entire thing is just a... Or maybe you could do the same for her clothes, make sure she's not uh, freezing over there. Well, there you go. It's... she's, she's a man, remember? What would be the problem with drying a... His clothes. <laughs> so, uh, you can undress, dry your clothes, make things right. Although, she used a hell of a lot of magic trying to force the rain clouds in. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of movement back there. Before she catches some sort of hyperthermia. With his earth magic, he could easily do that. Just wall off, maybe make a nice countertop and uh, some carved benches as well. And the slight crackle of the fire. But it's a forced... forced event to... Unless he does something. Leave it up to him. Was this what the quest was all along?
definitely not where I thought this episode would go. To, let's be fair. So, considering she's not backing off of this one, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. You know, health and uh, safety above all other man matters, right? I I think having <laughs> uh, the memories are flashing back to him now but uh, having him undress her for her there well maybe a uh, a story that is ingrained on several hearts there now is he going to remember it Hey, clothes are all off, you can dry what about the gloves? Do they need drying? There we go. Glasses? Don't think they particularly hold the uh, the water all too well, but seeing a true face, their eyes after all. Well, hope, hopefully, there was a budge in his. I don't think he forgot. There you go. All of the worries and pain washed away in an instant. I don't think it quite needed this kind of extravagant setup to get there, but it eh, paid off, I guess. Not only does he remember dressing her a long time ago, but he remembers personal traits, which is still a crybaby after all. <laughs> the proper reunion now. And now that she's being fully truthful and open. Fully truthful and open. I guess, much like her desires and dreams of what she wanted to do when she was asked, you know, being brought forefront into her mind, now the floodgates have been opened. Her name and face been revealed. You really can't hold it in anymore. But from one who saved her all those years ago, whether it just be childish bullying to a sense of being in her life, Sometimes the worlds we create in our minds are the things that is holding ourselves back. The reality of the matter, he had remembered every every part of her. There was no need to be so cautious or worried. The fear of the unknown is uh, a dreadful thing. Sometimes you need to put your trust into others, though, much like... Uh, that ended abruptly. But yeah, you got to sometimes put your trust into others, much like Sylvie actually did push forward under the belief that maybe he does remember her. He being uh, surprised sometimes. Even with my memory, there's been a few things I would definitely never forget. Kind of odd, though, that there's... Two main stories that she remembered. One was the the bullying and for for her hair and whatnot, 
The other was the undressing. And now there's a third memory that they've created together, which is also her undressing. Oh, you know, stick to things you know, apparently. But I really quite liked this episode. Maybe more... For more reasons than one would first... First interpret. But... Having... Concerns and worries that you dig your heels in and convince yourself that everything is not going to work, it's all going wrong. How far was Fitz away from having a complete breakdown over it? I think having the princess and whatnot actually shove her along and say, no, you're doing this now, there's an ultimatum, otherwise it wo- either it works, or stop thinking about it, we won't let it. Or keep you away from him as far as possible so that he does is not on your mind. Definitely having her back against the wall forced her hand in this action, but maybe it's for the best. Well, maybe for the best. I don't know what the after story of this would be. Considering her her little imaginary world, the sharing a bed with Rudy and what he would say to her, now that they're trapped in a cave together? Is he going to need saving from, from, from Sylphie? But hey, at least there might be some potential cures for issues he was having. Possibly even permanent. The manufactured quest that he was embarking on Go and find this flower in a forest. It can only be the two of us. Oh, that is sudden rain in here in a cave. It can't get more... kind of obvious and almost cliche than that, can it? But hey, it works. After the de- declaration that she loves him and has always loved him, and even more so now. It's going to be quite a lot off his mind. He doesn't need to worry about if or not there are there's any affection back his way, considering he had a little back and forth in his mind about whether or not there's something there. Or does he have feelings of fits? Even if there may be more than he bargained for there. But now, figuring out that the one he was attracted to not only is a woman but also is his childhood friend, who also likes him. Uh, He's managed to fall flat on his feet there. I really hope he doesn't find some way to screw it up. Although now that she's been open and honest, maybe he's going to extend, extend the same kind of hand and explain to her, What's he doing with the girl with the mask? Open up with these sigils and signs and uh, circles. How will Sylphie take it if she if she learns that he's not originally from this world, even if he did come as a baby? Definitely a conversation that they are going to have to have. Don't know when though. But I'm feeling kind of. Light and happy, a little fluffy maybe after this episode. Definitely not because there was a element of slow undressing in this episode. That was just a bonus. I think if I had, like the princess or anyone really, forcing my hand, push, give me a push on the back to actually get things done, there'd be a lot of things in my life where I would have taken that step, would have done something to benefit me, whether it's not, it's easily obtainable or not. So many things I've talked myself out of, and I really hope that all of us will find one way or another to to take that first step. And hey, whatever you're going through, I'll still be here, watching anime, Going through the same things you are. But if you can look back and uh, see this as the time that you managed to go out and do great and amazing things. 
Well, first off, I'll be horribly jealous, but I'll be quite proud, so why not take that leap of faith? Make sure to get some rest. Because if you enjoyed it, there's more. You can help out the channel and myself by leaving a comment and or a like down below. Definitely get yourself some rest. Stay dry. Because there's not a very large chance I'd be going to help in that situation. But I'll see you in the next one. My patrons are the ones keeping me dry when things go wrong, and so if you would also like to help strip me of my damp and soggy clothing of YouTube copyright systems, consider joining onto my Patreon and helping me out as well, or if you just like watching anime. So in the meantime, I need to thank those that are Noku, Raywin, Sao, Shiwan, Guado, Tori Jane, Croyville, Kite, Light Wizard 91, Megu42, Diego Zenhausen, Maxwell, Cardboard, and everyone else. Although I do hope they avert their gaze when I'm changing.